So Sony and Naughty Dog revealed The Last of Us 2 with a reveal trailer about a week ago now. And just personally, I thought the reveal trailer was absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. And shock horror, I'm actually a pretty big Naughty Dog fan. I think that studio, pretty much anything they touch seems to turn to magic or gold. And of course, obviously, I wouldn't be making this video about The Last of Us 2 if I didn't absolutely adore and love The Last of Us 1. Probably being one of my favorite Naughty Dog games for obvious reasons. However, The Last of Us 2 isn't actually shipping until 2018, that's when we can expect to get our hands on it. And obviously, being so far out, we have very little information about The Last of Us 2. However, there's one little piece of information that they did give us, and that was that we would be playing as Ellie as the main character and for the majority of the game. Now, for you guys out there that are unfortunate enough to have not played number one, you actually spent the majority of the game, probably about 80% of the game, playing as Joel as the main primary character, and Ellie would tag along through the story and narrative and the game with you. So this is quite the change up from number one. And as you could imagine with change comes pros and cons, and positive and negative responses. And the positive and negative responses are basically all boiling down to Ellie's sex, obviously being female. And as you can imagine, we've had a few different camps. We've had people that are just excited to be playing as Ellie and a new character in The Last of Us 2. And then on the negative side of the fence, we've had your straight up usual sexist people that just don't want to play as a female lead character. And then even further, we've had people suggesting that Naughty Dog have actually given way, they've crumbled to the whole equality and social justice warriors movement, and that they've been pressured into having a female lead character. Now, as you could imagine, this is a sticky topic to cover, but I'm going to give you my opinion and how I feel about playing as Ellie in The Last of Us 2. And then to wrap the video up, we're going to take a quick look at what everybody else has been saying on the other side of the fence. And then to finish it up, we're going to take a look and I'm going to give you my opinion as to whether or not I think Naughty Dog have or have not been influenced by outside pressures. So what is my opinion? What do I think of Ellie being the main character of The Last of Us 2? And to be completely honest, when this news hit me probably only about a couple of days ago, it did hit me with some kind of slight displeasure. And I didn't actually understand why. You know, why am I displeased that we're playing as Ellie and not Joel this time around? Am I sexist? Do I think I'm sexist? And the answer to that is no. No, I do not think I'm sexist. So it left me with the question then. Why am I displeased, not hugely or not greatly, but why am I slightly displeased by the fact that I'm going to be playing as Ellie this time around? So I started going through that mental checklist in my head and taking a more deeper look into myself. And obviously the first box that I checked off was, like I said before, no, I am not a sexist. And never have I ever thought I had been or have been in life, just to be clear. And then on my second checkbox, I asked myself, what did I enjoy about number one? What did I enjoy about Joel so much that now I'm disappointed to not be playing as him? And I think it is the fact that in number one, he's a man that went through great grief and suffering. He lost his daughter early on in the game. And then this other character, Ellie, comes into the fold and she slowly weaves her way into your life and you become a father figure to her and you become naturally protective of her through the game. Now I have a feeling Naughty Dog did this by design. And it's a theme that actually really stuck with me. Not many games do that. Not many games have the ability to do that. And I think that's why I was disappointed by the news that we'd now be playing as Ellie this time around. Because we had that theme that was so prevalent in number one. And we spent so long playing as Joel, viewing the world from his eyes, growing attached to the character Ellie and you both growing together. And we'd now be essentially, for number two at least, throwing that theme out the window, in my opinion. So that was my reaction to the news, and I don't think I fall into the negative camp or the positive camp. I think I'm somewhere in the neutral gray area. So we still have the positive and negative side as far as everybody else is concerned. Now the positive side is pretty straight up and easy. People are excited to be playing through the eyes of Ellie, and they want to see how all of this is going to unfold story-wise. Over on the negative side of the fence, we have had a few, not a heap, but I have seen a few people straight up say that they don't want to play as a female lead character. They want to play as a male. And from what I've seen from these people, they haven't really had any reasoning or thoughts behind this to back up this thought process. They just want to play as a male. Now, in my opinion, this is a negative stance to take. Sure, if you had some kind of thought process or reasoning behind it, like I gave you guys earlier in the video, okay, I could understand that. And I've even seen some other gamers say that, look, they don't want to play as Ellie because I feel like it's a realism issue. 
I mean, I felt like it was unrealistic in number one and in the Uncharted series that you can go through and kill a thousand guys and beat the game. That just wouldn't happen in real life. It defies the odds. But sure, some people have stated that they don't feel that it's realistic that a character who's still fairly small and petite like Ellie could go through the course of the game and realistically take on these big grown men and kill them. Okay, I can understand that side as well. But for the guys, like I said earlier, that just don't have a reasoning behind not wanting to play as a female, I think it's a bad positioning and stance to take, and I think it could be considered sexist, but I'm going to let you guys decide for yourselves down below in the comments. Okay, so we've covered the positive and negative camps, and even the neutral grey area camps like me. But let's move on to the camps that believe Naughty Dog have crumbled to outside pressure, and this is the reason why we're seeing a female lead this time around. And personally, I don't believe I don't believe Naughty Dog are a studio that would crumble to this kind of pressure. Not when, you know, you look at what they've done in the past, they've always had male leads. I genuinely feel this time around, they had a story to tell that they wanted to tell from Ellie's perspective. But I think when you look at Naughty Dog as a studio, they've always been very creative and narrative driven as a studio. And I feel like them choosing a female lead this time opens other design choices up for them that they couldn't have told through Joel even from a gameplay mechanic perspective. And this is what has got me kind of excited to now be playing as Ellie and to let go of the previous attachments to themes that I had from the original game. Because obviously playing as Ellie, you're going to be approaching combat situations vastly differently than what you would have been in number one. Because obviously due to Ellie's physique, she's not going to be able to approach combat situations the same as Joel. Obviously as Joel, he can more or less go head to head in whatever combat situation you approach. But I don't think we're gonna be seeing that in number two. I think we'll probably be seeing a more stealthy approach. And that's what's got me interested and keen to be playing as Ellie. I don't think it's something that has necessarily been brought to the table before in gaming, or certainly not frequently brought to the table in video games. So I think what we're seeing is not Naughty Dog crumbling to outside pressure. I think it's them just trying to stretch their creative legs. Simple as that. But let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. Are you disappointed by the fact that we're not going to be playing as Joel in number two? What is your reasoning behind that? Or are you excited to be playing as Ellie for reasons that I just mentioned? Let me know what you think down below guys. And as always, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. And if I haven't done enough to get you over the line with this video, then go check out my channel. Because chances are, if you're searching for this kind of content on YouTube, then you're going to like what my channel has to offer. And it's a space where everybody is welcome and free to share an opinion. That's the community we're trying to build here at One Guy's Opinion. We're all just one guy or girl with an opinion. So go over to my channel, hit the subscribe button and share an opinion. As always guys, my name's Sully, this is One Guy's Opinion, and we're gonna talk in the next video.